Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Uh, pleased to say it's a time for another Reader's Rides episode and today we're looking at this amazing bike. This is a Triumph Thunderbird Storm. If you're interested in learning more, stick around and stay tuned. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the owner of this fine machine. Come on in, Steve. Hi Steve. Hiya. Thank you very much for bringing the bike in. Yeah, no problem. First of all, what is it exactly? It's a Triumph Thunderbird Storm. Yep. Um, it's basically the same as a, a, an ordinary um, Thunderbird, but it's the uh, blacked out version. Okay, so, so what, as in engine blacked out? No, there's things like the wheels, yep. bits and pieces, there's sort of minimal chrome on it. So, okay. Um, it's, it's got um, the twin headlights. Yep. Uh, it's got the 1700cc engine. Well, monster. Yep. Um, uh, just... It's just the, and, and the, the flat bars. And the, and the bike looks like new. How long have you had it? I've had it a um, year and, well, January 2017. Okay, so, uh, okay, a year and a half then. And what, yes. what, 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 does it new, did you buy it? Yes. Excellent. Yes. It still looks absolutely gleaming. Te testament to your amazing looking after skills, it has to be said. Well, I watched somebody on YouTube. Oh, good man, good man. Convinced, man. convinced well, me to buy a bike drive. Thank goodness my bikes aren't here, because this puts mine to shame. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, lovely, lovely machine. Um, what's the sort of uh, basic specs of it? Do you know what the power output is, for example? Because I know very little about cruises, as I've said before. No, it's, um, I believe it's 97 brake horsepower. Okay. Um, but it's got loads of torque. I was going to say, presumably super torquey then. Well, it, you know, it doesn't really, you know. It's um, 156 newton meters. Wow, yeah. Which I think is 115 foot pounds. I don't really understand Nor do those I. numbers, Nor do but I. it sounds like a lot. Brilliant. <laughs> no, that's Fantastic. Right. Yeah, great. And so what made you buy this bike then? What's the story behind it? Um, well, I'm a returning motorcyclist. Okay. Um, I uh, did my uh, licence when I was 20. Yeah. Um, had a few um, toys. You know, I thought you were uh, going to say near misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had um, a couple of LC 350s. Mm -hmm. um, I had a a CBR 600, I think they called it a jelly mould. Right, yeah. Um, and that was it. Um, sort of rode for a couple of years. Never a serious biker. And yep. um, uh, I've lived next door to my neighbour, who's a lifelong biker. Um, and I've sat and watched him and all his mates turning up on their bikes and going off here, there and everywhere. Wales, Scotland and all the rest of it. And I've just stood there, bottom lip quivering, then I should be doing that. So You're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, and, and so I just, you know, I just. So um, was it a case of um, you don't have to do this? I'm just thinking about my flying world. If you were to take a big break, you'd have to revalidate your license because we get bike license no, last forever. No. So having ridden those bikes some years back, I'm guessing I'll be rude here, uh, and then having a big break. I mean, this seems like a massive, heavy, well, powerful bike to go straight back to. Was that an issue there? Um, yes. See, uh, I told my neighbour. Who's 20 years my senior. Wow. I um, mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that out. And uh, I told him that I was intending going back on two wheels. And um, his advice was maybe some refresher training. Right. Um, start with something a bit smaller. Yeah, good advice, I think. Did you ignore uh, it? I ignored all that good okay, advice. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, just and, and, and just decided I was going to have one of these. And, and I'm not really, I'm not really a sports bike rider. You know, I'm not, I kind of done a little bit of that, you know, when I was young, and yep. um, I just knew I didn't really want head down, bum up. Yeah, I just wanted that. something for a bit of fun, um, weekends, you know, just a bit of a jolly. So, what sort of have you done any touring on it, or no, what's your typical no, ride on this? No, breakfast on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done, I've done, um, I think I've done three thousand eight hundred miles on it. Wow. Yeah. Um, Fair weather. I mean, it has been out in the in the rubbish weather, and yeah, and well, it's it pretty rubbish today. And I know, I know, I know, I know. So, uh, and um, in it, you know, it's 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 been pretty dirty, but I do look after it. Tend to, tend to clean it um, when I've been out on it. I mean, for me, that would be one of the joys of owning a bike <laughs> well, like this. That's kind of what I, I mean. What I wanted. I mean, these, that, I mean, you say it's blacked out, but these shiny exhausts. I can imagine how well, I spent polishing those beauties. Well, I don't spend that. Long, I'll just give it a, if you do it regularly. I've yeah, got, I think yeah. I've got shares in GT85. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the dirt just comes off if you use that stuff. Do you ACF50 it? I haven't because I don't. No, it doesn't go out in that sort of way. I, I, yeah. I use it all, all year. Yeah. But, it, you know, if it's a dry road, then it's fine. Yeah, um, yeah, gotcha. 
So well, it's, a, it's amazing looking in terms of its condition. I mean, I would, I would you know, looking at this, I'd say it was a brand new bike. You've done amazing things, uh, you know, 4,000 miles later. Yeah. It looks yeah, great. Is there any mods you've done to it? Um, Anything non standard on the bike? Triumph heated grips on it. Okay, right. Which I fitted myself, which yep. was, you know, pretty uh, so it's easy. You take the tank off and it's all plug and play okay. underneath. Um, the exhaust pipes, uh, the silencers, are the actual the uh, free flow ones from Triumph. Okay, so you can't... it just sounds good. It's, um, you can get shorter versions. Uh, I'm not a massive lover of these silencers. So in, in, in what, you mean the looks? Or the yes, sound? Yeah, yeah. In, cer in certain looks, the way you see it, you know, they can look a bit ugly. Right. But, um, but in other times, you know, in different views, it looks all right. So. And what's the bike like to ride in terms of comfort and practicality? Very comfortable. make some guesses looking at it. It's very comfortable. Um, it's very heavy. Right. Do you I know what the weight is? With it fueled up and things, you're probably pushing on the door of uh, 350 kilos. Wow! I thought so, you were going to say 200. No. That's unbelievable. So, so that's is, two GSs almost. It, well, it is not heavy. Not quite, but um, that's a lot. But a low seat though, so presumably... Yeah, it, it, when you ride you it, it. It's, it's quite... It's quite... I think it handles quite well. Yeah. Um, you know, I was... I originally thought I'd do the midlife crisis, go down the Harley route. Yep. Uh, but the more I researched it, I thought the kind of Harley Club wasn't for me, um, and, I, and and this is British, so yeah, that, that, that appealed to me. What's not a lot, yeah, it completely appeals to me as well. As yeah. do Harleys, to be fair, but yeah. just not the whole chaps and all that stuff. Mm, no, so I'm, much. I'm I'm not a leather with all the leather bags and the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah granted, you know. granted. And there's so, something nice about having something British in your garage, isn't there? I, I yes. can't imagine having a garage without a Triumph in it. Uh, no, I, you know, I'm no, a bit of a fanboy no. for Triumphs at the end of the day. And I, I, very near, I came very close to buying one of these, actually. Not a cruiser guy myself. I didn't know that, no. uh, And a couple of years ago, I was watching a guy on YouTube. I can't remember what he called himself, but he did a lot of Thunderbird videos. And I got absolutely hooked and thought it was such a lovely looking bike. I thought, I've yeah. got to go and get one of those. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it was at the time when they, they just stopped making them. And I couldn't get a ride on one. Um, so I never, in the end, I can't remember what I got in the end, but it wasn't, um, or financial situation changed and I didn't get one unfortunately but uh, yeah. so I've always had a bit of a hankering after one of these so mm. uh, it's, it's great that you brought it along so thank you very much for your time and for doing that yeah. and uh, and you also you said you'd let me have a go didn't you you're welcome to which is go. fantastic news I, since the last readers rides I managed to get my insurance sorted out it turns out I am you'll be glad to know fully covered now for riding any bike for the purpose of making a YouTube video <laughs> so that's good but I'll, I'll promise I'll try not to fall off mm -hmm. so uh, let's go and give her a try so here I am on uh, Steve's Thunderbird Storm very good of him to let me ride this. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, I must admit, because <laughs> it's a thing of beauty and I really don't want to drop it. Insurance or not, it's uh, Steve's pride and joy, understandably. So I'll look after it. Seems a shame to get it dirty for him. I do apologise, Steve, but thanks for letting me ride it. Now, what an amazing bit of kit. I have to say, the first thing that strikes you as you jump on this is just, uh, well, the riding position, of course. I'm not used to the feet forward cruiser position. And, of course, the weight. It is a heavy old bike, but once you're moving, like all heavy old bikes, it's not really a problem, he says, wobbling his way around the roundabout. It's also a wet day, so I don't want to give it a handful with all this torque available and make a fool of myself. But beautiful, comfortable position, lovely lazy ride, thumping along. Brakes aren't too hot, to be honest. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> it takes a bit of stopping, I guess that's due to the size of the thing. All right, let's just open her up a little bit long here. That engine sounds absolutely beautiful. Surprisingly smooth actually as well. Some vibrations through the seat, but it's uh, it's not unpleasant. You could ride this for days on end and you'd be comfortable. And actually the feet forward position, they're not too extreme there. In fact, they're not as far forward as I remember my feet were when I was on the bobber. It's actually a very comfortable position. And an amazing view here, This uh, just this layout, those double headlights, typically Triumph, these rake back handlebars, and the mirrors work really well as well, they look like something off of a car, don't they? No vibration there, really, really nice, what a beast. I'm not sure I want to ride it around the uh, 
the twist is in Scotland necessarily, up the Balak Nabar or something. <laughs> I'm sure with a bit more experience and riding time on it, you'd get the confidence to do so. But yeah, just prodigious, prodigious, that's the word I'm looking for, torque, instantly available. Gearbox has got a satisfying clunk about it. You can feel the mechanics doing the work. It's a proper, proper motorbike, this. No, none of that electronic stuff. You've got to do it yourself. You kind of, uh, you're there with the bike, working with mechanical bits. You can feel metal things doing stuff. I love it. You do have to muscle it around the corners a bit, and I'm a bit wary on this damp surface to do too, in, too much counter steering and layering it around too much, understandably. Anyway, we're coming up to a bit of dual carriage route up here. I'll, uh, I'll ever take the white van when I get there. Suspension on it feels uh, lovely actually, I don't think it's adjustable looking at the forks. Nice soft ride, but not it's not all um, bouncy bouncy, like you might expect cruisers to be. It's just in what I call that Goldilocks zone, it's not too hard, not too soft. Cornering on it is an experience I have to say. Yeah, I think you've got to plan for your corners, and braking similarly. You've got to plan for your braking, but that's to be expected with such a heavy bike. Right, coming up to a bit of dual carriage right here. I don't want to go nuts, but at the same time, I'm fed up and look at the back of this van. This is my chance. Not changing gear, I'm just rolling on. And there's that wave of torque. Superb. What's not to like? Oops, already over 70 in the blink of an eye, and the engine is just resting. The engine is under no strain whatsoever. I don't think I'm even in top gear. So, uh, there goes that top gear. Now it's gosh, I was in third. <laughs> it just lollops along this massive 1700cc monster of an engine under no stress whatsoever. Just gonna pull out, okay. Really, really nice bike to ride completely different experience to uh, any of my bikes but not an unpleasant one it has to be said and I'm not just saying that to be nice to Steve he said I can say what I like about it you know we know what cruisers are their bikes are enjoying on a Sunday afternoon aren't they for riding on a sunny summer's lane this would be absolutely perfect for that so thanks again Steve for letting me ride it thanks again for bringing the bike over not one but two vans it's my lucky day so quick summary then, uh, on the Thunderbird Storm, just on this very quick little try out down the road on this wet and horrible road, on this wet and horrible day. It's really relaxing, beautiful bike to ride, you've got to really must it around the corners. Now, I don't feel confident on it at the moment, it is very heavy, brakes are a bit rubbish, but my god that engine is brilliant. It just makes you feel cool riding it. If a bike makes you feel good, that's all that matters isn't it? So thumbs up on the Thunderbird Storm, I'm definitely turning into a cruiser guy. If I'd spare cash, I can see one of these whistling into my garage very soon. Okay, so there we have it. That's the uh, Triumph Thunderbird Storm. Absolutely amazing looking bike. Thank you very much once again, Steve, for bringing her in. You are very Absolute welcome. pleasure to meet you. Uh, been a great bike. Hope you've enjoyed that. And if you've got a bike that you'd like featured on Reader's Rise, then do drop me a mail to themistonflyer at gmail.com. I'm not just interested in cruisers or exotica, but everyday bikes as well. Uh, if you drop me a mail, tell me whereabouts you are and what your phone number is, and I'll give you a call, and maybe we can schedule something in. Okay, hope that's of interest. Thanks to Steve once again, and uh, look forward to speaking to you next time. Till then, this has been the Miston Flyer. Cheerio.